Bye, guys. And Viking Ale Review. Okay, uh, going to be reviewing um, a beer that was sent to me by Jens from Germany. Thank you, Sean. And this is their... Sorry, the uh, name of the brewery is Gustaus and Ghost Brewery um, in Bayerische Bahnhof in Leipzig. And this is the Gozator, which is a, a German ghost uh, barrel aged in tequila barrels. Which sounds really, really interesting. Comes in one of those stubby um, Belgian bottles. But this is a German beer. Which I'm really, really excited to try. And <laughs> it's a massive ABV. It's 10.5%. The thing is, I've got all these beers from Johan and uh, Jens to review. Um, and, you know, I've got the low ABV ones out of the way. Because they tend to be the ones that you, you need to drink fresh. But now, it's like the... <laughs> What time is it? Five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm in work tomorrow, so I thought I'd have a couple of beers. And they're all like above 10% and stuff, so it's like, oh, I've got to really, you know, drink them slowly, I think. <laughs> anyway, goes later. Let's give it a go. I've had a German Ghost, which is really, really nice. Lovely, lovely style. Um, so this will be really interesting, uh, considering it's a double block as well. Okay, so here we go. Okay, colour wise, it looks like a girl's or ghost, or whatever, whatever it's pronounced. That sort of peachy, murky, um, orange colour. Doesn't look like there's loads of sediment or anything in there, so that's all good. Slightly off white head. Didn't expect too much of a head considering the ABV is pretty big. Let's give it a nose. Now, I'm not a big fan of spirits, I don't really know much about them, but I do know what tequila smells like. It's got that almost like a, a sort of uh, a fruity, sort of coconutty, spirity smell. Um, and you can smell that combined with um, a very sort of um, sour, not very sour, you know, a sort of medium sour um, orange and um, even a bit of like plum and passion fruit, them sort of flavours. So you're getting um, some nice little sour fruits, you're getting that tequila coming through as well, which merges so well with it, and then you're getting the saltiness, and even a slight touch of coriander on the smell. It smells really, really nice. It doesn't smell like a 10.5% beer, it smells like a beer that's really refreshing and you want to chug, but obviously you don't chug anything like this, unless you're superhuman. <laughs> Yeah, it smells really, really good. You can smell a bit of alcohol in it, not too much. But mostly just refreshing, sort of fruity flavours. So, let's give this a go, Jens. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Hmm. Okay, as soon as it hits your tongue, you get that tequila taste, you really do, but it's not like full on, it's almost like a, a shadow of it, you know, so you've got this sort of like, this sort of shadow of tequila, but underneath it, all these juicy fruits are popping up. Um, definitely peach and mandarin, that's probably like the main sort of like fruits I'm getting through on this, but then you're getting this lovely sort of salty sourness, which sort of frames that flavour and and just uh, tingles the tongue. You're getting a very nice clean purity to this as well. Um, you know, i.e. The, the base, the water. It's quite a light sort of beer. It's 10.5%. It doesn't really doesn't taste like a 10.5% beer. Mm. Almost getting like um, an aniseed as well. A very, very mild aniseed. But the peach sort of shoots up your nose as you're going to drink it, so you're getting that peach smell. But aniseed's very, very quickly on the tongue at the beginning. 
then the fruits, then that sort of salty coriander tinge. This is really, really good. Really, really light as well in taste um, and body. So it's very, very dangerous considering it's 10.5%. <coughs> um, very unique. I don't think this will be, this will appeal to everyone, but if you like your sours and you like your, your ghost, ghost style of beer, you'll really, really like this. If you like tequila, this will be really interesting for you to try as well. So there you have it. Um, ten and a half percent for the goes eater. Strong eight out of ten. Definitely um, a unique beer, and one that I'm very, very happy to have tried. Um, so I'll say give it a go. It is really, really good. I could see someone like Ryan, uh, maybe Jameson, and them sort of guys. They'd really appreciate this one. It's got really nice smells as well. I just love smelling it. Um, so guys, thank you very much for watching. I very slowly enjoy the rest of that. And I'll see you again soon for another Viking Hour review. Cheers!